twilight of Earth's great civilizations, we were chosen. Some were selected for their skills, others for their strength, and some by luck. Great ships were the embodiment of each nation's ingenuity, courage, and faith. And they sent us to the stars in search of a new home. As we raced skyward, we carried aloft the hopes and dreams of those left behind. Our journey through deep space was long and quiet. is finally over. Now we look upon our new world for the first time. On these alien shores, our destiny waits. A new beginning for mankind. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nubish Moo, and this is Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. It is a game I have been thoroughly looking forward to since it was announced at E3, and it is the sixth installment of the Civilization series, and the first sci-fi one. Um, all previous Civilization games are... Uh, are uh, usually set in the past, yeah, sort of, you, you take into account historical figures and time periods, um, it, and etc, etc. So, this one is a lot different, um, but I'm looking forward to it, if it loads, never. <laughs> this is a very, there we go, good lord. Um, Ooh, ooh, that's nice. That's a nice menu there. Um, so as I was saying before, uh, installed graphic drivers are out of date. Well, that's frustrating. Anywho, I'll see to that soonish. Um, yes, as I was saying, Civilization is one of my all-time favorite game series. I've sunk at least. 200 hours into it. It is a very unhealthy amount of time. Um, so this will be interesting. So let's let's kick off with some single player. I want to see let's see what things go, how things go. Play now, set up game, load game. I'm just going to click play now. Random sponsor. Hmm. Difficulty level Mercury. Game pace standard, map size small. Random world. Mm, okay. I don't know what any of that means, but let's get into it. I do need to change my music settings, though. I've just it has just dawned me. We're strong, we have faced much will and continue to forge ahead, but only if we learn from our mistakes. When we reach this world, we must give ourselves to it. Strive to understand it. We are no longer a young species. We have no excuse for the destruction we visit upon our home. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or ah. Advisor. 
I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. Okay. How would you like me to proceed? Ooh. New to beyond uh, finding how civilization works. Um. Mm, do I want advice or full guidance? Ah, see, I'm brand new to Beyond Earth. Obviously, it came out like <laughs> two days ago, but we'll go with advice only. Select a suitable location for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. Okay. Uh, what a city, so I can find more cities. That's something I would like to know. Building an outpost, the precursor to a city, is the sole creative action available for the colonist unit. Building an outpost consumes the colonist. Once established, the outpost starts with just one tile of claimed territory. So it's the same way as before. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go... there. Oh, look at the HUD! The HUD! Wow! Oh my god, this is, this is new. Me Megan? Megan? Can you still edit? You can still edit their names, but I'm not going to. I might do it at a later date. Uh, down the recording, but we're just gonna play. We're just gonna play. Um, I do need to do my audio very quickly. I should have done that first, I'm foolish. But not the music volume down to 60, sound effects to uh, 50, ambience to 50, speech to 60, I think. Just, I don't want it overpowering my voice, like it probably already has during the... Uh, during the window. But that menu, look at that menu as well. The menu's all nice and clean and sharp and this 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 vision this is very uh, <laughs> this is visually pleasing to me. I like how crisp and nice it is and I like how everything's done. Right, so select a suitable location for our people to make planetfall. Thank you, I've done that. Um I don't know what I need to do. I guess I need to build something. Ah, ah! Oh, that's cool. The HUD, the HUD, the HUD for the uh, production queues and stuff is all cool. I don't know what any of these do. The icons have all changed though, so that's going to take some getting used to. Um, so in previous Civilization Five, I'm going to draw a reference from comparisons, just for argument's sake. But Civ Five, all the icons resembled vaguely what they were. So we need to. Also, all of the, the the incomes as well. That's that's a thing that has changed. That needs to get used and get used to. That's a production. Okay, so the little the little gold thing is production. Um, the green like BPM is health, obviously. I guess science health. Culture is a book. So what's health then? That's, is that hunger? Yes. I think that's the food kind of thing. Okay, so right, anyway, let's... That's the explorer, I've already got one of them. Let's build a clinic. Um, I've already set him units, but I need... I want him to... I want him to do stuff. Oh, how do I... Orbital view? What's that? Ah! This is the orbital view. It displays the effect areas of units that are in orbit. Effect areas okay. cannot overlap, so it is useful to plan launches ahead of time. This view also shows your launch coverage area. An orbital unit must be launched over a tile with coverage. Coverage can be extended by constructing city buildings. Okay, I see. Go back there. What's that? Quests and victories. I have something that needs your attention. Okay, show me. Quests. Ooh, okay. Qu cultural burden, found an outpost, blood bank complete. Proceed. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> I should really read more before I just click proceed. The quest log also has a tab for victories. I thought it was the actual one, that's why I was clicking frantically, because I was I was scared. Right. The promised land trans are these the victories? So the domination obviously is world domination. Uh yeah. Since arriving on this planet, we have found evidence of previous civilization. Uh, discovered the progenitor signal. One of so you need two progenitors for that victory. Wow, this is going to take. This is some actual learning curves. What's the promised land? I've just done that one. Thank you. Transcendence. Uh, in order to communicate with this planet. So, okay. Emancipation. So that's... Launch one laser com. Okay, was that... Is that... I imagine that's the equivalent of the science victory. That's obviously world domination. The contact would be... I guess the equivalent of a cultural victory? Or tourism? Transcendence also looks cultured, and the promised land is faith, I guess. Interesting. Right, well, let's let's get into it. Choose research. Ah, now this is the thing. Tech Whip provides a bird's eye view of the technologies that may be discovered and how they are connected. Yeah. Technologies come in two types, branches and leaves. Branches represent broader technological ideas and cost less research. Leaves are more specific and are more expensive. Oh, that's gonna. Okay, so this is the thing that's gonna take a lot of getting used to. So you need to go into a web. This is the thing that's really gonna really take some learning. So branches, and then beyond those branches is the leaves, I guess. Yeah, so you need... I see! I see, I see, I see. So it's... Despite the fact they're calling it a web, they've still got... <laughs> they're still referring to it like a tree. So these are the, the the main ones, and then these leaves, or ones underneath, are the more specific sort of drop... This is like a drop-down menu that you'd find on, like, a, a website, for example. Um, okay, so... I don't know what I want to do. I don't know where I'm going. Allows units to embark across deep water. Uh, unlocks the stellar codex wonder. Oh, new wonders! This is going to be interesting. So all of these go point toward one and one thing, I guess. Then. Um. Okay. Okay. So let's go. I want to go. What's our output? Robotics, nanotechnologically, astrodynamics. So I imagine. Ooh, what did I just do? Did I just click. I think I just selected genetics by accident, but um, which is not something I wanted to do. What is that noise? That is that's a weird noise. So I'm guessing the outer rings are the when you get to victory status. So like. This one over here, for example, artificial evolution, alien materials, blah blah blah. I'm gonna go with first. Um, let's go with physics. Let's see what that does. Okay, so and then next turn. God, that was the longest time I've ever to do in a game of Civ taken to do a turn. Right, I wanted you to. Ooh, look at that! All the options are here now. Right, I wanted you to automatically explore. That's what we do. Resource pods were sent ahead of our journey and contain valuable materials from old Earth. Okay. Send a unit onto the resource pod to see what it contains. So these are the ruins. These are the equivalent of the ruins. I see. You have finished construction on a unit which can launch into orbit. To launch, hey? it, select the unit and click its action button. That Once launched, you. it will have an area effect on the tiles beneath it until it deorbits. Okay, 
you have to say. Uh, return to game. Right. Inside the resource pod, you found basic satellites still intact and enough rocket fuel for it to reach escape velocity. A free solar collector is now ready for launching the city of Magan. Whoa! Okay! If what is an orbital unit? Orbital units are powerful but temporary orbiting units and provide offensive, defensive, and support capabilities to players willing to invest in them. Each orbital unit has a different effect. Orbital units generally don't interact with one another, they instead support the activities, units, and tiles which exist on the ground layer below them. After a certain amount of time, they deorbit and are automatically destroyed. Interesting. Okay, so. It's the launch. Ah! Aha! Ha 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 ha! So this, that's a unit. I don't know who. Alien wolf beetle. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna go. I don't know. What is it then? What does it do? There, I guess. <laughs> Fascinating. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. A unit. That's. Very fascinating. Can an orbital move it? Move? No, it's immobile. Right. Thank you. You have a new quest. You have a new quest available. Throughout the game, your actions will trigger different quests that can unlock mm. bonuses for your people. Open the quest log to see what's available to you and check back often. Okay. Quests. Our sponsor had the foresight to send resource pod ahead of our expedition to be waiting when we arrived. Parts to a large research instrument have been found in this pod. The other pieces are probably found around here somewhere. Okay. I don't want to be in this view anymore. So I imagine that's another civilization, obviously alien wolf beetle. I'm very curious how the multiplayer is going to work. Might be something I'll have to uh, investigate. Ooh, what the hell is happening? El pueblo unido de Sudamérica le da la bienvenida. United people of South America. Hello. How are we? How are we? Fala despacio. Announce to the world your colonies. Sure, let's be friends. Los Antillos. Okay, bye. <laughs> you should communicate with another cold knee. You may click on the city, but there's a shortcut. Then. Thank you. I don't care. Right, so the map's up here. That's new as well. The map's usually down here. Um, do we have... Uh, trade routes? That's cool. Export. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's... that's these are all the options there then. Right. Um that's the Civilopedia. Um Next turn, I guess. So the aliens. Okay, the aliens are the equivalent of the barbarians. This I can deal with. So that means I'm gonna need to Are you manticore? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna need to um, my phone is going off like crazy. Well, we need to investigate that in a second. Right, so I need to... Quest of Day is next turn. Skip that for now. Come back to it. Is that its health underneath? I imagine that is. So that's still six turns away. I need to auto-enter, I think. Find out. Culture! Develop a virtue. Aha! Here's the culture tree. The virtue screen allows you to choose the virtues that will shape your civilization. You spin your accumulated culture to acquire them. The mm. deeper you go in each row or column, the more bonuses you will earn. Okay. So we have strength, prosperity, which is uh, just growth, really. Knowledge, which is science, and industry, which is production. There, there doesn't seem to be any religion. At the moment, so ha! Thank God for that Wembley. <laughs> In many Civ games, um, Wembley or Crazy Mike, as he's often known. 
likes to spam me with religion and take over my cities. So we're gonna go with... Uh, I always do a science victory when I play Civilization. So I guess... Um, let's try knowledge. Let's go, let's try a science one. That's the science I know best. So you need to get all four before you get, before you get to the next one. You can obviously adopt others at the same time, it looks like. Which is good, but not really recommended. Alright, next turn. We're learning. See, this is actually feeling like a Civ game now. It's definitely Civilization.